Liverpool. Had to, it was a, it was very VIP. I'm sorry we couldn't get you in, Leo. Uh, just that you were with Scoble. I love it that you're wearing Texas orange, UT orange. I am. Hook 'em horns. Uh, I'm sorry. Where's the VIP line? Oh wait, Scoble's here. No VIP. Sorry, Scoble. <laughs> listen, it, let me come here. If you ever want to not get into a party, just bring this man with you. There's no way you're getting past the doorman. <laughs> That's what happened, Leo. I can explain why you didn't get into the Twitter party. You had dead weight. That's it. Scoble's not getting into any party. Because I know Jason Calacanis. I should be able to get in. I, I tweeted you. I said, if you need to get in. We saw the tweet. We saw the tweet. People down with a couple of badges for you. you know. Yeah, what's yeah, well, what? This or the Twitter? You want to come to Twitter? We're going to Mashable. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Mashable. Let's go to Mashable. Yeah, we just bomb rush the door. In, even with the dead weight. They'll let us in. Yeah. They know, where their, they know where their bread is buttered. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do this. All right. Let's do this thing. All right. I got my 15 minutes. Look at look at my butt. You can see there's a porthole. There's butt. a porthole on the back. It'll tell you what the upstream and downstream it. is. Brace yourself, Leo. I have to change the battery. <laughs> we you know where we store the extra batteries. <laughs> that does happen later in the evening. Does it we to give a shout out to Anthony from Qualcomm. Hey, Anthony from Qualcomm. There's a bunch of people watching. We love the Qualcomm folks. Yeah. In fact, we're probably using uh, all the uh, 3G cards we're using are probably using Qualcomm chips. So, Jason, since you've been in the Twitter party, is yeah. it any good? Twitter party is amazing. Actually, most of the parties here are people not so good looking. You go to the Twitter party, lots of good looking people. I don't know. The Mashable party had a lot. They'll be beautiful people at Mashable. There's nobody better looking than Pete Cashman. Moore and Lisa. P. Cashmore brings it. P. Cashmore. He brings it. He's a good dresser. He's got high cheekbones. Absolutely. Very he, humble as well. Very humble and he has a Scottish accent. Uh, that All that, those are pluses. When all you're right. building a media brand, humble with a Scottish accent, you're going to win. You can't, you can't lose. Can't but, lose. But the real secret party tonight is the Gary Vaynerchuk yeah. Midnight. So I can't, I, I'm sorry, Jeff. It's A-list. For me. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff. How many, you need, how many followers do you have on Twitter? <laughs> no What's here. the cutoff? Cutoff is 50,000. Oh, to... okay. I have 170,000. We can, Three of us no, could get it. Yeah. No, but you can't pool it. It's not like you and Oh, you it's have... not. You can't pool it. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no pooling. You have to have above 50,000 to get in. They'll check at the door. You bribe your way to those followers. <laughs> <laughs> Life's a negotiation. You give, you give away iPads, then you're going to get a lot of followers. Hey, hate the game, not the player. <laughs> Listen, you give away your, all your incredible advice. Yeah. I, I, you know, we should give away an iPad. We're going to have a line in the Apple uh, at you, the Apple store you, in Paul Walter, by the way. Folks at home, you heard it here. Uh, Robert Scoble is going to give away his iPad yeah. to one of the viewers right now. Yeah. How are you going to choose that? I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, I want to borrow your random follower uh, giveaway thing because we are giving away an iPod. You didn't give me an iPad? iPad to yeah, so we, uh, remember Kevin Rose last week on Twitter on Twit picked a random woman uh, and she had three followers. We've got her up now to twenty two thousand followers. We're going to pick one of those followers. It's Lisa Tickle Lisa Tickle Pink. I'm giving her an iPad, but we need a way to randomly pick followers. And I'm told you have a way to do that. Yeah, there's a random Twitter thing that somebody made for contests. I think it's called Random Tweet or something. All right, I got to find that. Made it exactly for this purpose, and I've used it, and then it makes a permalink page with the winner certifying that you didn't. Cheap. So we'll do that on April 3rd. We're going to give an iPad to one of her 20-some thousand followers. I'll throw in. I'm giving an iPad away at the Apple Store line in Palo Alto, and we'll announce it to somebody. That's on. April 2nd, uh, April 3rd. April 2nd through 3rd. We're care. going to be there 24 hours. We're, I'm going to get there at 7 in the morning or something like that and stay all the way through till 9 in the morning when they go on sale. How many drinks has Robert Scoble had at this point? Because I'm, I'm starting to see the eyes are starting to blur. No, it's not the booze. It's the meat. We just were at that uh, Brazilian oh, meat. You guys meat. Coma? We, uh, yeah, we're in a meat coma. Stubbs? No, 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 no. We went to the uh, Brazilian uh, Fogo de Chão. Yeah, with the green and the red? Yeah. The green and the red? Uh, yeah, Oi. Yeah. And he left it on green the whole time. I did. That's typical Robert Scobo. See, they, they don't build into their business model Robert showing up. when Rob, that He was so, he said, don't eat the bread. It's cheap. Yeah, don't eat, don't the, eat the salad. It's, it's cheap. Probably. get you they get you on the bread don't eat the bread you gotta wait for the prime cuts don't eat the sausage either i ate the sausage i ate don't the chicken eat, wait for the prime rib yeah wait for the good stuff the prime rib and don't eat the lettuce no stay chicken stay out of the chicken yeah. you gotta wait for the good stuff
Yeah. Okay. You each been there. All right, so let's go in. I want to see the Mashable. Let's go in. The, the party's out here. This it does seem like it's much more interesting out here. Hi, what's your name? Oh, we've ran into each other before. John. Hey, John, how are you? I'm awesome. Are you going to go in here to this Mashable party? All right, let's check it out here. Hey, Leo, this is Wesley. Hey, Wesley, how you doing? Hey, Leo. Where are you from, Wesley? I'm from Austin. Oh, you're local. Yes, I'm this losing my voice. Show. Sorry you about that. I just love living here. Yeah, it is really good. But the weather is locally in a small patch. We're getting some nice warm weather right now. So what do you do? I'm a product development engineer for AMD. Oh, that's awesome. And what kind of product? Software, hardware? Software. Very cool. Uh, Austin, Austin, AMD's in Austin? They're based out of Sunnyvale, but they have a, all the execs are actually here in Austin. Yeah. That's cool. What kind of, what have you written? Anything I'd know? Say again? What have you written? Anything I'd know? Oh, uh, no. Product development engineer, not software coder. No, no. I talk uh, to marketing and they explain what they want. Then and I talk. you talk to coders. Yeah. You're one of those guys that could translate. Exactly. You use translate marketing speech into C++. Right. And I try to explain to marketing why it doesn't work. <laughs> why it can't possibly work. But you got a t- you got the toughest job in software so far. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because th- I have to work across multiple groups and across multiple countries. So multiple languages too. Uh, I don't speak multiple languages, but yes, they do. Wow. Uh, Luckily, one of them is kind of like English. Did you study computer science?